Hi everyone, today we're making chicken salt and boca and I'm gonna serve it with some cauliflower rice and some grilled up asparagus for a delicious meal. And salt and boca in Italian actually means it jumps in the mouth, right? So it's gonna be jumping in my mouth and right down the hatch because it is really delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. Before we get into our recipe though, I wanna encourage you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you won't miss my new videos coming out every week and we're always putting out something super delicious. And my focus is on eating healthy. That's, that's what I like to do. Uh, I read labels, I'm concerned about the quality of my food, so if that resonates with you, be sure and hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start off with our chicken. I have chicken breast here that uh, we're gonna use. What I did was I butterflied it. I cut it in half lengthwise, and then I cut each piece you know, into two pieces so that they weren't too large. Then you wanna pound it so that it is even in thickness, say about a half an inch. Now once you do that, we're gonna take our chicken breast, we're gonna sprinkle it with just a little bit of fresh sage, and then we have our prosciutto. Now prosciutto is a, an Italian pork product, very, very thinly sliced. It's like paper, so it comes on these little pieces of paper and you just peel it off. And I'm not gonna add any salt or any other seasonings to our chicken because you don't need it. The uh, prosciutto is going to provide all of the seasoning that you're gonna wanna need, all right? So we'll just wrap this up and I'll set it aside. We are ready to start dredging our salt and boca. All right, so I have some gluten-free flour here and you just wanna set it in there and coat it lightly. We're not trying to you know, get a big covering here or anything thick. We want it actually very light, so you can just kinda of rub it in and then just kinda of pat it and shake it off. Okay, that's good. Now we'll place it on another plate. And when I start to fry them, I'm gonna fry them in the pan with the seam side down. That way that seam will you know, kind of seal up as it gets crispy and it'll stay together better. Now, like I said, you can use regular flour, but I'm using gluten-free flour here today. I'm using Bob's Red Mill. Uh, it's a one-to-one -one baking flour, works great. Now we're gonna head over to the stove. This is only gonna take a few minutes, probably four to five minutes per side. And of course, we're gonna be cooking up our cauliflower rice and our asparagus. So here's our setup. I've got this pan right here. This is gonna be for our cauliflower rice. This is gonna be for the chicken, and this is gonna be for the asparagus. Now, what you did with the asparagus, all we need to do is to season it up is add a little bit of olive oil to it, mix it up with your hands, and then give a little season of some salt. And that's all you need to do. So I'm gonna start off with the cauliflower rice. It'll probably take about seven or eight minutes to cook, not very long. Um, everything is pretty quick, actually. The chicken is the same way. So I'm gonna take some olive oil and place about a tablespoon or so in the pan. Let that heat up. I'm gonna add some diced up yellow onion. It's just gonna give our cauliflower a little flavor. I'm keeping it simple with the cauliflower. We're not doing too much here. We're gonna get all our flavor from our salt and baca. I'm gonna let that go for a few minutes. I think my other pan back here for the uh, asparagus is probably pretty hot and I should go ahead and start cooking that, which will just take a few minutes as well. So this is one of these recipes where we're kind of doing three things at once, but it can be done. I'm gonna test my pan, just sprinkle a little bit of water on there. You hear, hear the sizzle, I think it's ready to go. So I've got my nicely seasoned asparagus. I'm just gonna place it here on this grill pan. My temperature is about medium. When a cast iron pan gets hot, sometimes you need to turn it down a little bit. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll just rotate them over as they cook. Okay, we'll give our onions here a little bit of a toss. We're gonna do this for just a two or three minutes. That's all, just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna add the garlic and we're gonna saute that for one minute. Now it's time to add our Trader Joe's, I got mine at Trader Joe's, riced cauliflower. Just toss that in. I'm gonna add just a, a little bit of salt to it. 
and I'm going to toss in a little bit of chicken broth. Now because cauliflower that you buy already riced is a little bit more firm because they use more of the, of the stalks of the cauliflower than, than when you do your own. When I make my own, I, I include mostly just the florets and very little stock. So it's, it cooks up quicker. This takes a little bit longer to cook. And then I like to also just put a lid on this a little bit and go back and check my asparagus. Just rotate them occasionally when uh, they start to brown up. So turn the heat down on the cauliflower to low and then we'll cover it and we'll cook it for just about two minutes, that's it. We've got our stainless steel pan over medium high heat. I'm adding some olive oil to that, about two to three tablespoons. Let that get hot and then we're gonna add the fresh sage leaves to it, add some nice flavor and let that cook up for about two minutes. All right, I'm gonna check the cauliflower. It looks nice and soft. It feels like it's soft, so I'm gonna turn off the heat and just keep it warm. I'm gonna check the asparagus now. It's coming along nicely. It's just about done as well. I like mine, you know, a little bit crispy firm, you know, not, not real soft. All right, our sage has been cooking along here, getting crispy and nice. Now we're gonna add I'm going to add a little bit of butter to the pan. Add some nice flavor there. As soon as that butter melts, we're going to add our chicken. Now when you lay it in there, lay it in real careful. Make sure your temperature is about medium. You want it to crisp up. That's the whole idea here. We're gonna cook these four to five minutes per side. So we're getting close here to turn this over and you can see, I think on this piece here, how it's getting white up about halfway. And that's, that's a pretty good indication that we're ready to turn it over and it's been about four, four and a half minutes. One thing about chicken breast, you don't wanna overcook it because then it dries it out. All right, so when you turn these over, do it carefully. We got our sage here getting nice and crispy. So we'll go for another four to five minutes here. I'm gonna check it with an instant read thermometer just to make sure that the internal temperature is 165. Chicken's almost done. I'm gonna take the cauliflower rice and if you've watched my channel enough, you know that I love uh, basil. So I'm going to sprinkle some basil in here. You can use parsley if you if you want. The salt and boca is done. Let's take it out. I've got a plate here behind my pan. I'm gonna just lay it right in there and I wanna make sure I get my crisp, crispy sage. So we'll just take these out. And we're not done yet, folks, because we are gonna make a little pan sauce to put over our salt and boca. You see all those brown bits on the bottom of that pan? That's what's gonna make this thing taste amazing. Okay, so you want to check, see how much you have. That, that's not too bad. That's, you know, you don't want too much grease in the bottom, um, but that looks just right. So to the pan, I'm gonna add just a little bit of onion. Love my garlic. I got my temperature right now. It's kind of on low, medium low. Cook that up a bit for about three minutes. Let me get my wooden spoon here so we can scrape the bottom of the stainless steel pan. I'm also gonna to toss in a little more sage into our little pan sauce here. So I've got some more chopped up and I'm just gonna add some to it. We're gonna add some white wine. I have some Sauvignon Blanc here. I'm gonna pour that in. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit because I cooled the pan down. I'm gonna bring it back up to medium. And we're gonna cook this until it reduces down to about half of what you see there. I'm also just gonna take a piece of foil and just lay it gently over the top of the chicken so that it doesn't cool off. Now we're gonna add a little chicken broth. I'm using the Trader Joe's Organic because I like their ingredients. They're pretty, pretty decent. Turn this back up, bring this up to a boil again, and then we're gonna simmer it until it reduces down by half, which will probably take another five or seven minutes. And I'm going to add just a touch of salt, not too much, just a little bit. All right, our sauce has reduced down enough. I like to have enough for all my chicken. I'm gonna add a little butter to this and it has a little salt in it, so we're just gonna 
place this in there is going to make it nice and silky. Once, once I stir this in, then our sauce is ready and we're ready to serve it up. Now if you want, you could put your chicken back in the pan. In fact, maybe I'll do that. If it's cooled off any, it can reheat a little bit. Oh, this smells so good in here, you can't believe it. And what a quick meal to put together. It doesn't take long at all. The cauliflower, everything that I made only took seven, eight minutes to do in the actual cooking time, right? So I tell you, you gotta try this, put it all together. You have a fabulous, healthy meal and you're gonna love it. Here we go, I'm gonna take a little taste. Remember in the beginning of the video when I said that this name, Saltimbocca, comes from you know Italy and it means you know it's gonna jump in your mouth? Well, this wants to jump in my mouth because it is absolutely delicious. You're gonna love it. The flavors, everything, the asparagus, the cauliflower. The cauliflower, actually, I will say this, I kept the lid on a little too long, so I would leave it off. It's a little bit too soft, but it's still so yummy. The sauce, the pan sauce in this, just phenomenal. Mm, so delicious, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share the video, and you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Try it and you know, let me know. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.